Howdy folks, Brian Cusco here at Triple B. The people over at Dark Cloud Reptiles decided that this was going to be the best color for me. It's also her favorite color, so I... Uh, what do you think? It's looking alright, alright? Today we've got Mr. Randy Foster on from Dark Cloud Reptiles and we're going to be talking about the OFY gene, which is a gene that he's proved out and is still working to prove out a super. And he's... Beautiful! It's beautiful! Take a look! You watch Triple B TV. I can't wait to see what I produce this year. It just Yeah, it should be pretty phenomenal, I think. Well, I mean, that's know, pretty phenomenal itself right there. The thing about it is I've been working with this for like eight years, and I've had my building was 95 degrees for like a week. I lost all my clutches for two years. Oh, man. And then my incubator failed. So this project's been knocked back like four or five years. But I've been trying to do single gene stuff to prove the actual gene out the right way not rush to sell stuff and like not know what I'm selling people in that and it's just yeah it's been taking so long for me to do it so this thing was like yeah do you mind if we pull can we pull one out one at a time oh yeah all right yeah, whatever you want to do man this is your show okay oh sweet well um I've got these bags over here we could put them in too if you just leave them at the table when you leave Ah, you know, that I find hard to do, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's my show, so I mean... <laughs> do you have the keys? Yeah. <laughs> should we start, do you think we should go like left to right or right I, to left? I or would what? start with this one because uh, this is the least. This is the lesser OFY, so you can see what it does with the single gene and then two gene and then see with the recessive. Okay, okay, cool. So this is a straight lesser OFY. Exactly, yeah. And if you guys want to know what OFY stands for, it's in the description down below. It's just so we can make sure this video goes to as many people as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is cool. I think it's the first thing to do that as far as the name goes since, since GHI. Am I correct? You know, actually, I think I named it before GHI. Really? Or right around the same time. Uh, you know the story behind it, right? Behind, behind, yes. How, how I got it? Yes, yes. Yeah, Let's okay. Let's go ahead and rehash it. All right, so basically, when I was doing the gene, I knew I had something different. And I was thinking, maybe it's an ugly fire, but there's something different about it. So I tried to make a super uh, fire. And when the clutch came out, and I was like, okay, when I open the clutch, what am I going to see? Something crazy, something different, what am I going to do? And I'm like, first thing to my head would be, Oh, fuck yeah. Done. I mean, I can't name anything. I can't name pets. I can't name kids. I mean, I, I my son, I named him after the two grandfathers. That way I didn't have to come up with a name. So to come up with a name for a snake, I'm like... And I figure, okay, when I come up with combos, what am I going to start naming combos? Like, you know how everyone comes up with the their really cool names? I'm like, come on, I'm chubby, man. I'm going to name all mine after, after some sort of food. Like... <laughs> yeah. I got that butter melt over at my table, and the one guy goes, yeah, we need to make a tuna melt. I'm like, all right, I need an OFY. I call it a tuna so I can make a tuna melt. <laughs> Is this uh, so you've pulled this out in the single gene form? Yeah, and, you know, I thought about it. I should have probably brought a single gene, but it's one of those things. It's got subtle traits, and it's just like the Orange Dream. When they first came out, I loved them, but I'm like, I might have a hard time telling what's Orange Dream, what's not. OFY is the same thing. Plus, I realized that uh, my original OFY has granite involved. So, once again, I'm trying to single those out as well. Can you point out, like, where the OFY is influencing this lesser? That, sure. That, that well, everybody knows what a regular lesser looks like. So, with this animal, you can see it lightens it up. You can see how clean it is. If you look, there's not one speckle on this whole snake. And then the alien heads, you can see how it floats them. Right. The keyholes are elongated. And that's always been something that was pretty much true with all the OFY stuff. Uh, another thing, they've always had this creamy color stripe right on the tail. And mom's... 12 years old right now, I think. Oh, wow. Her blacks are really black, 
and her belly is still this creamy color. So they, they tend to do well with thyme. Okay. So now this is the same thing, but you add fire. Okay, and that and that was the, to your point. Like at the beginning, when you first doing it, it, it didn't go. Alila can do the super fire with fire, and that's when you're like, no, it's not a fire. Exactly. Now with this animal, you can tell even more so since it's lighter. Around all the pattern, it's got the dark outline. The contrast on them has been really cool. Uh, once again, the pattern, your more floaty pattern, the keyholes, and the whole snake is clean. It, it really cleans up all the, the snakes that get muddled up with different genes stacked on top of each other. This pretty much takes it away. And once again, you get the tail stripe that's real creamy, real clean. And you know, one thing I've noticed that maybe I should have brought, but I don't have any smaller ones, I have bigger ones. On the, um, I think it's a firefly I have, it looks almost desert ghostish. Okay, it, I was gonna, I kind of, actually thought that about this right here it had a little bit kind of like a desert ghost look like yeah yeah it really does but like i said same thing unlike the desert ghost which just gives it that appearance like if you look what it does to the nick stripe it they all blend together it makes one big long nick stripe and then they start coming apart towards the back yeah I, i'm really excited about this just seeing where it goes and yeah, it is, it is very clean looking. And you got the next version. Now. Oh, you got the puzzle happening in this one. Yeah, if you want to pull the puzzle, we can look at the puzzle or go to the... Oh, right. Okay, that was, just, that was just in the same rack. I was... Okay. I was like, damn, you've already got it in with super vanilla puzzle. <laughs> well, you know, I do so much with puzzle and people don't get to see a lot of them. So I figured I'm going to bring that and let people see it because it's just such an incredible animal. Now this is my favorite one by default because it's a clown. I, I just, I know a lot of people are into clown and it's kind of like maybe uncool to be into clown because everybody likes it. But I, I like it. Clown is my favorite. Clown is my favorite um, recessive trait, not uh, just trait period, actually. Well, you know, it's like I always tell people, you got to do what you like. I mean, when GHI first came out, I had a buddy of mine who got one and said, hey, I'll go ahead, bring me a couple females, I'll breed them and we'll get into it. I didn't like them. I liked bright things. And it's like I said, for me to open a tub and see a snake that I didn't find beauty in, it was just money to me. Why am I doing it? Why am I working with it? If you're in it just for money, I don't know. You just you don't have the same joy. Yeah, it doesn't bring you that, that fullness. It yeah. doesn't bring that fullness to your life. Now, obviously, it's having a quite a bit of, of effect on the fire clown because the fire clown alone looks not very much like this at all other exactly. than maybe the color palette and of course the some of the clown characteristics this is much different than a fire clown no oh, exactly and you know looking at, at it head stamp i mean i can see the ofy influence in it uh and the fact that once you add it with clown if you look at it with clown you add certain genes and it breaks it up like say like leopard does so obviously with ofy what it's done with a say like the nick stripe and uh, you know other traits with other genes mix that with clown and this is what you're getting the reduce just the, the few speckles and spots um, one thing that was really kind of cool to me is if you look at the uh, the back stripe where it's all broken up in that up at the head it's way blushed out yeah it's almost blushed out to a point where it's more than just blushing it's like it's going beyond blushing yeah it's actually lighter than the snake right but if you look at the tail it's darkened it all out which ironically it's weird because on all the others the tail's got that real light creamy stripe down it right so I, I don't know I'm just I'm having so much fun working with this thing I just I can't wait to see what this year brings that's one of the big things about breeding ball python morphs. Yeah, there's the possibilities of what you're going to see coming out. You just you don't really know. You have a really good idea what might happen, but until it comes out of the egg, you don't know. And it's that that excitement is, yeah, I, lo I love that. We yeah, seem. you know, I tell people, yeah, I've had a lot of setbacks here and there, and you go to shows and you might not make your money back, and you got to spend a lot of money on you know rats, on on your racks, on everything. And some people make their money back, some people don't, some people reinvest their money. 
it's when that clutch hatches and you get to see what comes out of it, that it's, I'm done. That's that's the payoff right, right there. there. I mean, like anyone else that's done this for a while, they get to points, they get frustrated, they get fed up. And yeah, when I had, uh, who was it? Um, Grant Rustich came over to my place one time. We were going to ultrasound some snakes. And my new building was 95 degrees for a week. So, yeah, two years, all clutches just gone. All the, That's right when I was starting the OFY project. And, yeah, it, it just it hurt. It was miserable. You sit there for two years feeding stuff. You're not seeing anything. You're like, what am I doing? And then something like this hatches out. Hey, I'm good for another decade or two. I mean, it's just... Yeah. You get your ups and downs, and the, the ups, if you keep and stick with it, they outweigh any of the downs that come along the way. Exactly. I tell people, you know, pick something that you like. Don't go after what everyone else is doing. Pick something you like. Like I always say, Justin got the red stripe. He believed in it, and now everybody wants it because he proved it to be what he thought. There's so many genes out there. People just... Pick one, stick with it, make something no one else has, and let's see what we can do with them. Well, I appreciate you pulling away from your table to come sit down and talk with us and check it out, man. Oh, no problem, I man. Really I'm glad to, glad to be here. Yeah, man. Good times. And good luck with the future of this thing, man. It looks, It's looking pretty bright. <laughs> well, I'm hoping. Let's see. We got clutches going. Uh, hopefully soon I'll have some dropping. So maybe next year, next show, I'll have a whole bunch to come over and show you. Cool. Sounds good, Randy. And I'll keep you on the list so when I decide to let one out. I do have a... You keep... Oh, so that, as of today, this is completely in-house. Oh, not single one has ever nice. left. Not a one. I almost sold, uh, I think, five of them for $26,000 a few months ago. And then I said, no. I, I backed out because I want to prove it first. I want to make sure what I'm selling people. And, yeah, money would be great. God, would it be great. But... I want to see what it does. But like I said, I do have a couple uh, breeder OFY het clown males, so we'll talk. All right. All right. (laughs) Thanks, Randy. You got it. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thanks for taking some time away from your booth with me, Randy. I really appreciate it. Next week, we've got Mr. Daniel Solis, and he's going to be coming back on to talk about the issue with super dwarves and whether or not they're all related or not and uh, talk about his recent experience out there documenting what he found. Until then, you've been watching Triple B TV. Y'all take care. I went and, went and locked it. I always suck at using these keys in this thing. I, I feel like I, it's always the third time I stick it back in there and it finally goes where it's supposed to. That was the fourth time. I just made a liar myself.